hey guys welcome back again to my video thank you for tuning in thank you for always coming back thank you for your engagement so far yeah i love and appreciate you guys my returning subscribers you guys are the best if you're joining us for the first time you're highly welcome do well to click that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your notifications so that anytime i post a video you will be notified okay we're going to be discussing on this video some of the reason why christian couples struggle with their sex life okay couple especially if you're christian you agree with me that sometimes we find it difficult to express ourselves when it comes to the bedroom and not because we don't want to or sometimes we don't really know how to convey this message to our spouse our husband like or our wife if you're a guy watching me we find it difficult or we struggle to get a word that would describe the exact things that that we are, we are trying to say or how we feel trying to communicate that that feeling with that's why i'm coming out to share with you guys some of the things or some of the reason that um christian couples struggle with their sex life so this reason i have experienced <laughs> and some of them I, I i got from research from reading and from listening to other christian couples okay the first reason is a lack of knowledge of sexual life yeah i kind of feel that most of our premarital counseling they barely touch on this topic i mean during my own time they taught us on um, how to manage finance how to manage in-laws how to do it every other thing that, that might come up as a challenge or as a struggle in the marriage but little did they even say anything about the the, the bedmatic life i know they they went ahead to teach us about um natural family planning which they did very well i applaud them for that but telling us the the cocoa on how to go about it how to enjoy it or how to speak out if you're not enjoying it how to communicate your love your feeling and all that like it was they barely touched on it okay so i mean intellectually we know it's god part like it's god's plan intellectually we grow up to know that or we read from the scripture that um this is uh, this act was created by God and we as a Christian we are supposed to enjoy it we as a Christian couples I mean we are supposed to enjoy it with our spouse to the fullest okay which 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 was why it was included in the Bible I mean if you read the book of um songs of solomon and some some parts of proverb you see where they are drawing the themselves like if you look at it intellectually from god perspective like from the scripture you know that it is good god expected us to enjoy it to the fullest but practically we find it difficult to even do it and like i said maybe a um, lack of knowledge or let me just say ignorance or yeah ignorance because most most christian couples like ginger brothers and ginger sisters didn't even know that oh god intended us to enjoy ourselves i mean we worship god with our body right i think there's a place they say in the bible that like, present your body as a worship living sacrifice to god okay so we worship god with our body and each time we come together in union we are fulfilling god's purpose and god intention when he instituted the 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 institution of marriage i mean he said for this reason would a man leave his mother and father and cleave to his wife and they will become one body and in becoming that one body is everything okay so for husband and wife in becoming a, a one body is through the sexual act and if they don't know how to do it i mean they're not fulfilling god's purpose in that aspect okay so one of the reason or one of the things that made christians to struggle with their sex life or with their sexual life is um lack of knowledge stroke ignorance okay lack of knowledge you don't have the knowledge you don't know how to and you are not willing to please if you don't know how to keep listening to my video because I want to be bringing amazing and interesting videos as regards to how you can spice up your your bedroom life with your husband okay in a christian perspective most of the things that we're going to be saying will be centered on the scripture so that you don't say that hey, you are doing the worldly aspect you are being worldly you are being flesh okay so subscribe so that you don't miss the videos so don't be among those people that will perish because of ignorance if you don't know how to you can go for christian counseling okay with your spouse with your wife basically so that you as you are getting married or as you are married you are also if you the intention of god in your life and the purpose of god in your life okay the next reason why christians struggle in this aspect of their marriage is um setting on realistic expectation and this one i feel that is coming from the first point that i mentioned lack of knowledge and because you you are not vast in this aspect or because you are not exposed per se in this aspect you now set on realistic expectation on your head maybe because um, um the movie that you watch or because of the things that you read on the magazine and you feel like oh this is how it's supposed to be this is how it's supposed to be like i'm supposed to be dressing sexy i'm supposed to be doing like 
like this so that my husband will find me appealing i'm supposed to be looking this way so that my like the expectations are so real and when those expectations are not being met you find yourself sinking and you find yourself um, um not being in your best place you, you find it difficult to even open up to your spouse so getting that unrealistic expectation has led a lot of women to low body image like they even body shame themselves like you see somebody that has gone through the process of betting a life maybe you've given birth to two three children and uh, taking care of them being a great mom or being a great dad per se and you find yourself struggling in that aspect especially if you're breastfeeding okay and you start um, um self-doubting yourself start being uh, uh um portraying a uh, negative self-image on yourself simply because you're not meeting up from uh, you're not meeting up uh, uh, in the bedroom or in the other aspect of your house nobody has ever come out on social media to say that my, my bedroom life sucks okay nobody has ever come out on social media to say that oh i'm not getting it well put together in the other room everybody's making it look as if it is all perfect it is all rosy like when you now see yourself not uh, uh, meeting up to the expectation that you set in your head which to me i feel is unrealistic if you're not meeting up to that expectation you you think that you're not doing the right thing the reason why i said especially if you're breastfeeding if you're breastfeeding you find it difficult to get wet down there yeah it takes time like it takes a lot of time a lot of hormone like yeah your hormones are all over the place and when you find it difficult to get wet down there it's even difficult for you to enjoy whatever thing that you and your husband is doing in the other room okay so it's not left for you now to okay you know in your head that this expectation that you set this unrealistic expectation that you set you are not in alone you're not the only one that's passing through this phase you're not debunking those unrealistic expectations that you've set in yourself or for yourself or for you and your partner it's, it's quite funny some people even set their expectation are also set for their spouse okay so debunking that expectation will unrealistic or the one that is realistic fine but the one that is not realistic you have to debunk it so that you can be able to i mean enjoy yourself in the other room which was intention of god why he created human sometimes i'll just sit down and relax i'll just um i'll try to imagine what god had in mind when he was creating the the human being like created a, a woman created all the uterus the uh, clit uh, clitoris all the as in ovum or um, ovum vagina all the body parts of a woman well of a woman okay i just be like wow wow this god you are good he created it differently from from men own i know some there, there was a book i was reading they were trying to describe the men productive um, system and the and the and the female productive system how they are somehow related what this one is doing in this body and what this one is doing in that body but to me they don't look the same okay they're not related in any way they are all created in different aspects like to do different work and they say at the end of the day you people will enjoy yourself while the husband is enjoying the wife is also enjoying okay yeah like is it not amazing that we have god that that that, that have our intention at heart like he looked at us and fat up all those things into being and just be like you know what take it go to the earth enjoy yourself reproduce like bear fruit be fruitful reproduce like dominate like ah, god, god is wonderful guys i digress okay so back to reality rosemary back to reality we are discussing why we are struggling and not why we are enjoying okay so the first one that i've said is um, um lack of knowledge and ignorance about about it and the second one is unrealistic expectation so stop setting unrealistic expectation the one that is not working scrape it out is not working the one that you need to improve on you need to work on it and just remember that it is you and your spouse against the world against whatever that is happening okay so it's just you and your world for the fact that um i i did my own this way and i'm enjoying it does not equally mean that when you do your own that way you are enjoying it okay so some people have have set a realistic expectation on their mind that oh if it's not missionary style is a sin if it's not a uh, uh, doggy style is a sin if it's not this style is a sin okay just come together and discuss with you and your and your spouse the, or you and your spouse the one that that work well for you the one that you guys can do not go and do the one that you want to bend and do like snake in the market the one you can do comfortably and, and you guys will enjoy it okay so the one you can do in a christian perspective like they're not telling you now to go and and, and chase somebody on the bed and say you are being aggressive you beat herself on top and be and say that uh, this is the part that mm -mm. respect each other's body because your body is the temple of holy spirit okay amen amen the third one the third reason why um some christian couples i don't want to be saying christian couples because i don't want to generalize okay i don't want to be uh a stereotype stereotype kind of way i don't want to generalize because i know that some christian couples 
are enjoying themselves having a good time when it comes to the other room okay so the third reason why um some of the christian couples are not enjoying themselves in the other room is lack of communication lack of communication did you hear me repeat after me lack of communication lack of communication a mega arrow <laughs> some people find it very very difficult to communicate like on that table okay so i i have to put myself by reading praying studying the word of god doing research trying to change my mindset if you're not enjoying it why are you dying in silence let me not talk let it not be as if that i'm being worldly and being fleshy and the guy is there enjoying himself being proposed like the reason why god created him and you are there you are, I don't, I, don't, I don't understand it. I don't understand why you cannot open your mouth. There is a reason God gave you mouth. Open your mouth and talk. Say as they do you, so that you can, so that you can get help. Okay. I I know that sometimes um, it can be very very difficult to have a proper dialogue with your spouse as regards to um pragmatic. Simply because you you don't want him to feel less of himself. I understand that aspect. You don't want him to feel like oh he's not being man enough. He's not satisfying you or she's not being woman enough. She's uh, a wayward she's always like wanting it for for those women that have high libido i came across something they call um christorectomy okay they said that is like cutting male, uh, female want something something like trying to cut it off so that they will not be wayward they will not enjoy them so like i've forgotten I, I need to go and research about it okay let me know in the comment section if you have done that like if you've seen somebody that did that if you've seen like if you have witnessed it okay i, I really want to know i came across it i was like <sighs> Why would they do that to a woman? Some women must have undergo that that process without knowing, and they find it difficult to even reach cloud nine and all that and all that. Okay, so let me know in the comment section if you have heard about it, Crystal, Critoris, Critoris, Critorectomy. Yeah, I don't know why I'm I'm finding it difficult to pronounce that words. Okay, so let me know in the comment section if you have heard about it, if you've seen somebody that that did it, or if you've seen anybody that that it happened to. Okay, so many is can be difficult back to the video now it can be difficult for couples to sit down and have a proper dialogue about their sex life simply because they don't want to look um being desperate or or um not being satisfied in the other room you, the wife will not want the husband to look less of himself will be like oh you are just two minutes you are not doing it the way i want it but see let me tell you mm, the earlier you sit down with your husband and wife and discuss about it, the better for you because I keep saying it that I don't think there is sex in heaven, okay? So the earlier you discuss about it, talk about it, like those things that you like and you feel that your spouse is not doing it. I think I, 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 I said this sometime in my video that it's not left for you guys to sit down and talk and talk it out. The one that work for you, the one you know I, I can, you can do, just sit down and plan it out, okay? Like fostering, like I don't know if you have a healthy uh, uh, set your life is like pouring super glue on your marriage relationship okay like you guys will cement the the marriage you guys will be together to to fight against the storm of all the uh, societal pressure that is fighting against marriage okay so i i kind of encourage you if you're a christian couple and you find it difficult like very very difficult to discuss about um, um sex life and all that all what and all what okay please pray about it mm. after praying about it write down how you want it to be done how you enjoy it the most and ask your partner ask your spouse it might be the husband it might be the wife like you guys should look for a proper time that you can come together and discuss about it you guys should look for a proper time that you can come together and have a proper dialogue about this thing like for how long will you continue to be in silence for how long will you continue to okay we'll expect him to know just know that your 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 spouse is not a mind reader okay he's not going to read your mind to know how you want it to be done how like because you set expectation in your head you expect him to know those expectations if you don't communicate it leads to unrealistic expectation and if he's not meeting your need in the other room it will transfer to other things that you are doing you find yourself being grumpy you find yourself being disrespectful you find yourself not loving your wife because the other side is not being made the other side is not being satisfied okay so i suggest that um you guys should see that and talk about it okay it's good is good stop following in self-doubt and self-pity and feeling like it's a sin see if it's if it was a sin god wouldn't have looked at it and say that all the things he made is good okay so just make out time with your spouse it can be once a month you guys can just start once a month like okay well, honey we are going to be discussing about ourselves our experience on the other room maybe once a month yeah just start from telling him or her the good thing that you enjoy before you jump to the bad if you find it difficult okay just like anytime you guys finish having 
bedmatic experience like bedmatic game that husband and wife enjoy just pff, don't sleep off don't wash yourself and just bye bye and kitchen and market you we are done mm -mm. just sit down and talk about it like discuss it so that you will improve it keeps getting better and better okay just know that it's not going to uh, um, happen spontaneously like oh sometimes you might even tell them this is how i want it and and they will forget just keep reminding them okay i want to believe that Christian couples, like everybody married their friend. I'll be every Saturday we are going for a wedding. Oh, I'm getting married to the love of my life. I'm getting married to my friend. I want to believe that you are not scared of the love of your life. And you are not scared of the love of your life that you cannot just discuss this openly with him, okay? There was a place in the Bible that if you're a newly married uh, uh, person, you're not supposed to go to war. You're supposed to just be at home with your wife and all that. Explore yourself, explore your body, enjoy your life. Like, better enjoy it now. Better enjoy it now that generator is still is still active because very soon the generator will pack up. The only part is that you are not satisfied, you're not talking about it. Are you know you won't? Mm. You're not satisfied, you're not talking about it. I like I don't understand. So talk about it, okay? Now the next thing that, that some Christian couple struggle with their sex life is um past baggage. Fear of past baggage. If you've read a book and have equally watched video that people are saying that oh don't talk about it don't discuss about it just let it deal de, 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 da, 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 da. i i i kind of know that the things that you cover like the more you try to cover it one day one day one day the thing will just come up okay and i sincerely want to believe that you guys dated or you guys had caught you before you guys got married and these are some of the things that you're supposed to be discussing i do not say you should go and practice these are some of the things that you're supposed to be discussing before you even walk down the eye so that you guys will come with clean sheet of 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 slate and allow god to write the intention and purpose of um you guys marriage on it okay so instead of dying in silence because you don't want to voice out you don't want to say something that will trigger up emotion and all that discuss talk about it okay so that is it for for this video let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section some of the reason that christian couples struggle in their sex life if you've heard or if you've seen or if you've listened to any story just let me know in the comment section like I, don't forget to like don't forget to um share don't forget to subscribe if you've not see you guys in my next video i remain your girl i see virus rosemary see you guys in my next video bye guys